Okay, today we're going to be working on uh, a Mikey burner. It's kind of a modified one. Uh, this here particular burner, I'm going to have uh, slots cut. There will be uh, five slots cut in this. They will be, uh, so let me get my gauge here. There will be 10, 10 millimeter gaps, five of them and the seven millimeter will be the metal that's left over and there'll be five of those as well uh, and they will be running about three and three and three quarters length along here uh, this is this this is three quarter inch uh, iron pipe uh, it's a pipe nipple it's twelve inches long I've cut an inch off of uh, of thread off of this end this will be the nozzle on the front and this end here is where I'll screw a fitting on to uh, later on to uh, run the, the orifice uh, pipe down through. I'll show you that later on in the video. But right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tape. I've taken the tape and I've wrapped it around the, uh, the three quarter inch burner so that the ends met. And then I've taken it off and I've straightened it out and I've put equal marks along the tape that I want and then I'm going to wrap it around the tube around the burner again and I'm going to make those marks on the uh, on the burner tube uh, and then I'm going to take my uh, uh, I can't remember what this is called angle grinder and I'm going to put a wheel a wheel cutting uh... alright and then I'm going to cut the slots in this pipe with my uh, angle grinder and I'm going to put a, uh, a metal cutting blade on that I'm going to drill I'm going to drill uh, hole to top hole to bottom and then I'm going to try to join them with the angle grinder I mean if you've got high-tech machinery you can certainly use a milling machine to take it out a lot easier but not everybody can afford a five thousand dollar milling machine so I'm going to do the best I can do with that and see how that turns out all right all right so I use the angle grinder with a cutoff wheel to cut the slots in there uh, worked out pretty good it was quicker than I thought uh, I drilled two holes on each end and I joined them with the cutoff wheel now I'm just going to work at uh, taking a file and just refining them a little bit more alright so there it is all the slots cut and as you can see right here it's beveled inwards that's to allow air to travel easier into these slots and then here it's beveled underneath I think you can see there across the uh, the other side. It was quite time consuming to do all that uh, filing, but it's worth it in the end. So I got one more to do, and then I'll start working on some of the other pieces. All right. So I just got both burner bodies done. Uh, better like filing if you want to do this method because there's a lot of filing to those knife edges right there and right there alright so next I got uh, 3 8 to 3 quarter reducer I think this one might be brass but the guy charged me the same and all I did was take it over to the grinder and grind that bevel just that the air flows down into those grooves and then you take the uh, a 3 8 female to 3 8 male and I also drilled it out for the size of the uh, tube I have going through it so that goes in like that and what you're going to come out with will be something that looks like that so this will be the the tube that's going down through now I'm going to uh, 
drill and tap the end of this for uh, for the MIG tips. That'll be my uh, orifice. And uh, as you can see, I got three set screws drilled in here, spaced around. That holds that rod and centers it in place. And uh, I come off of it with uh, uh, one eighth to one quarter uh, reducer a T. That's uh, quarter inch, I think it's a four inch quarter inch nipple, uh, quarter inch 90 degree elbow, uh, and that is just a uh, just a uh, closed nipple in there, closed nipple here. Now I do have to put, I haven't received them yet, but I do have to put a ball valve, quarter inch ball valve between here and here on each one of them to shut the gas off so I can go from one, one burner to the other. Then I just have a closed nipple coming out of here with another 90 that my, my hose hooks on to. And my hose has a, a quarter inch fitting on one end and a one eighth on the other. So I'll have to get a reducer for that too. Alright, well I hope this helps. Uh, next I'm going to be trying to do the uh, the little bit that goes on the end there. The flare. The flare. I have one, one done. You see how it has the flare on the end? But I have to make uh, have to make another piece to take up the space because it's kind of uh, kind of floppy on there. So I've got to cut another ring of something to go in there, and I'll set screw that in place. And then it'll be time to uh, give her a test run, see how she works. All right, I just want to do a quick segment on the uh, the gas lines, the gas hookup for the forge that I'm that I'm building. Uh, you're going to need a regulator in that system. I use the uh, it's a Fisher regulator, uh, three to thirty-five psi. Some may want it to go lower than three. I guess I've seen some some people running it at two psi, but I think three three psi will be fine. Uh, this is uh, about eighty dollars at my local store, so it's one of the bigger costs of your of your forge. Uh, I bought this gauge separately. The gauge goes from 0 to 30. Uh, so what I've been using to to hook this up whenever you do any uh, any work on these lines, I use a, uh, uh, a Teflon tape that's that's rated for gas. Get this focused in here. It's uh, rated for for, for gas so you're going to need that and I also bought this uh, uh, pipe joint compound which is also rated for gas and I did a couple wraps of the of the Teflon tape and I did a, uh, a coating of the uh, pipe dope pipe joint and I'll also you'll also need one of these which is your fitting that hooks into your uh, your propane tank. Of course that end goes into the propane tank. That end will screw into to my regulator. Coming off my regulator I will have quarter inch fitting coming off and then this end here will hook into the uh, the pipes for the for the burners. I got that sitting right here. So that end of the hose will fit into there. And then those two lines are my burners which go into the forge. Alright, so I'm going to put that together and I'll show you what it looks like after I'm done. Okay, I just wanted to add this as I was putting this together. Uh, there's going to be a lot of little uh, brass filings, uh, possibly some Teflon tape, dirt, whatever when you assemble your uh, your tips to go in there take a little uh, compressor a forced air or something even if you don't just try to blow through it with your just get some air to go through it and just stick it on the end and that makes sure there's nothing in there because if you catch if something gets pulled in there and the the tip on this is very very small it's like point zero three five and it can get plugged pretty easily with something just wanted to add that in there alright so I got my burners hooked up, got my gas lines hooked up 
and I've been playing around with the uh, fuel mixture with the uh, chokes and whatnot and the long one on the left has the least amount of work done to it right now and it seems to be working the best and I'm going to fire that one up and uh, show you. I got my propane tank regulator it's set at uh, around 3 or 4 psi right now I'll crank it up a bit after I get it going and show you. Turn her up a little bit. About seven, seven pounds, seven psi. Turn the lights out, that's running at about uh, 15 psi. Might be because the nozzle's not flared on that on that one. I might try putting the nozzle on that one and see what it does. But anyways, that gives you a good idea of what uh, what the burner turned out like. Pretty happy, all in all. Thanks for watching.